Hi ladies! So, this is Mickey. Um, today is, let me look at the calendar, it's the 14th of March. Um, it is cycle day 6. So, the reason I'm doing this, um, usually I wait until after I take my pills or whatever. Um, but the reason why I'm doing this early is because I just want to let you know of the side effects I've been going through so far. Um, with Clomid, there was very little, if any at all, um, side effects. But, oh my gosh, with this Letrozole or Fumara, I've, I don't know, I've been completely miserable. Um, I started taking it on cycle day three, which was Sunday. Sunday was my first day, and I am taking them at night. Um, when I was taking the Clomid, I was taking it probably around 10 o'clock because I go to sleep around 11 o'clock. Um, maybe I should have stuck to that time. I don't know why, but I just got anxious and I took it early. So I've been taking it at 8 o'clock at night, every night. Um, before I go to bed, I'm like completely miserable. Um, headaches are not a normal thing for me. Um, now that I'm taking medications, it's, it's really doing a number on me. Um, I wake up with a headache. I go to sleep with a headache. It's like right here, like a pressure point right in here. And it just hurts so bad. Um, like last night, I just kept on having to massage it and massage it. I'm not able to go to sleep at night. Um, probably about an hour or two after I take it, I'm tossing and turning. And I'm like, I, I just feel physically hot. I'm not sweating, but I'm just like hot like none other. Um, it's, oh gosh, it's horrible. Um, <laughs> and this morning as well, I was hot. And um, my right side, uh, like my right ovary area, um, it's very sore. Like I'm wearing jeans right now because I usually wear jeans. And it, it hurts. Like having, when I buttoned it, it, it was hurting just because I guess it's tight right there. Um, but yeah, it hurts. <laughs> so... If the Fumera is not working, I'm going to be really pissed off because of all these side effects I'm having from it. <laughs> and for it to be all for naught, that would suck. <laughs> so, I don't know. And really, there's no way of knowing if it is working or not just by the side effects alone. Um, let me show you what this culprit looks like. Uh, let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. And you can see a little L on it. And on the other side, that's N or Z. I don't know what it's supposed to be. But yeah, so that's my culprit. I take two of these every night. As well as, I got my pill in here. I'm taking, this is what the Fertiloid looks like. There we go. Fertoid. Or not Fertoid. Fertile CM. That's what it looks like. Take three of those a day. Have my prenatal. And this is the one that was prescribed to me. So um, it's like prenatal plus or something like that. I don't know. And then I take this one. Uh, which is my azo yeast. And this one. Which is about the same size as my um, Fumara. But it's actually my baby aspirin. So take one of those a day. And that's it. Um, other side effects that I've had. Um, I did notice with the Clomid. Like after I finished um, the Clomid. After I finished like the whole five days. Um, a few days after I would get this like patch right here or like a dry skin patch um it's not a normal thing for me either so it had to have been the clomid because it's the only thing i was doing differently so um i was getting that but with the fumera for some reason i am getting a dry patch but it's right here and it looks so gross um i went to the doctor and they said maybe it's like um a little bit of eczema or something um, that doesn't run in my family. It runs in my husband's family. Oh, I've never had it besides 
when I was <clears throat> taking the Clomid. So um, he did prescribe me some um, some cream. And now that I've been putting it on two times a day, it is starting to look normal and um, feel normal. So that's good. It's starting to smooth out because um, I just felt really gross having that. <laughs> so yeah, other than that, nothing else going on. Just so crazy. Um, I don't know. I have been a little down lately just because, you know, don't know if this stuff is working and it's just like the waiting and the anticipation of going to the RE for that mid-cycle appointment. Um, you know, it gets to you a little bit. Um, also my temps have been a little more erratic. Um, the past two cycles, it wasn't that erratic. Let me see if I can pull it up. But this one, well, I've only taken it three times. But, um, I'll show you. Let's see if I can. Do, do, do. You see that? Like, the first day I started taking my temp again, it's like, it was like 97, 72. And then it dropped down to 97 even. And then it went up um, to 97.32. Um, is that today? Yeah, that was today. So it's just going crazy. Um, I don't know why. Because, let's see. This isn't last cycle, but it's the cycle before. Um, this is when I was on Clomid. 50 milligrams. Let me see. See, it's not really that erratic at all. So I don't know if my hormones are just going crazy again or what's going on. I honestly don't know. Or maybe because I don't know. I really don't know. It's really confusing me and it's really not making me happy <laughs> so yeah um, I'm still trying to figure out um, how to read the AviQ stuff um, I'll maybe trying to figure out what's going on but I'm sure it's too early to be able to tell um, so yeah I am doing the AviQ sorry I am doing the AviQ that's going well. I When I wake up to take my temp, that's when I go ahead and do the oral and the vaginal um, readings. Then um, in the afternoon, I put them online onto my thing. Um, and that's it. I've been doing that since cycle day two, so it's been four days. So I'm sure there's no, you can't get anything from it as of right now. So we'll see what happens. <sighs> Yeah, <laughs> just trying to stay positive. I really am. I think part of it is that um, my allergies have been acting up. It's not springtime technically yet, but here um, in Virginia, it pretty much is spring. Um, it, it has been in the mid 70s um, every single day. The flowers are starting to bloom, which means my eyes are getting itchy. Um, I wake up in the morning and I'm completely miserable. First of all, I have the headache. Second of all, excuse you, paper. Um, second of all, um, what's it called? Like my, the bottom eyelids, um, I know y'all notice because I notice it all the time, but they're pretty puffy and they're pretty like wrinkly. Um, but that has a lot to do with my allergies. I have really bad eye allergies. And if you noticed on my videos, I'm constantly like wiping on the sides of my eyes. That's because my eyes are constantly watering. Um, they're just always irritated. Um, I've been to an allergist before and they said that out of the 18 things that they, um, they tested me for, I tested positive on a high scale. It's like one to five. I tested five plus on everything on the 18. Um... So I'm very allergic to something, <laughs> especially during the spring. 
Um, and it's just really bad and it mostly affects my eyes. It doesn't affect, um, I will get bronchitis and stuff during the spring. Um, but it, the pollen count really has to be high in order for that to happen. Um, which was bad in Savannah. Like literally everything had a yellow tint to it because there was so much pollen in the air. But, um, and if you can hear paper, um, He's a little congested because he also has allergies. Go figure. My dog has allergies. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I wake up in the mornings and my eyes are just like, the bottom eyelid is so red and so just puffy. And it takes about an hour for my eyes to actually adjust to be able to stay all the way open. Um, and that's even with my prescription um, eye drops. I don't wear contacts or anything. I have really good vision. But I have to put daily eye drops in my eyes in order to keep them open during the spring it's it's horrible so that i think that's another reason why i've been down lately um when you stay indoors you know you don't get those sun rays and right now they're really really pretty sun rays <laughs> and that does affect your vitamin d um and i i am a little low on my vitamin d as well so i I am planning to go outside today, um, make sure to keep my EpiPen nearby. I've never had to use it, but that's something that the allergist advised that I keep on me um, during the springtime. Um, and, uh, you know, keep my eye drops on me. I make sure to keep sunglasses on whenever I'm outside because um, I don't want any pollen or any dust or whatever else I'm allergic to to get into my eyes and make them worse than they already are. So we're going to go outside. We're going to try to hope and pray that it helps me um, get out of this little funk that I seem to be in. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, also, last thing that I want to say is I want to say a big congratulations to Edith. Um, as y'all might know already, she is pregnant. And yesterday she had her first ultrasound and she's having twins. So that's amazing. That's so awesome. Very, very excited for you. Um, I know you were saying you had a dream that it was a boy and a girl, so hopefully that happens. Um, that'd be really awesome. Um, yeah, I'm just excited for you. When I saw that, uh, that picture you posted on Facebook, I was just like, what? I was like, oh my god, that's so awesome. So yeah, yay. <laughs> Congratulations, lady. I'm really, really happy for you. Um, but yeah, that's it. I guess I will see y'all later. Um. After I finish Fermera, if I have any more side effects or whatever, I'll let y'all know. Um, if not, then I will probably update y'all on um, on the day of my mid-cycle scan, which is on cycle day 15, which is on the 23rd, so next Friday. So I will let y'all know what happens. Um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.